The concept of a zombie apocalypse has long haunted our imaginations through movies and TV shows. Surprisingly, amid the terror and mayhem, there are intriguing facets that might challenge our preconceived notions. Here are the best reasons why. Despite its dreadfulness, a zombie apocalypse might not be as bad as we think. First of all, the shift towards a simplified lifestyle drastically alters priorities, rendering concerns about the economy, taxes, and money almost irrelevant. With the breakdown of societal structures and institutions, individuals are no longer burdened by the complexities of modern financial systems. Consequently, there is no need to be more worried about meeting financial obligations, such as taxes, mortgages, or debts. Freed from the constraints of a monetary economy, people might find liberation from the constant pursuit of wealth accumulation and material possessions. This newfound freedom fosters a focus on more immediate concerns, such as securing shelter shelter, finding food, and ensuring personal safety. Moreover, without the need for currency or wealth accumulation, the dynamics of social interactions undergo a transformation. The emphasis shifts from monetary status to more egalitarian principles. Connections are forged based on mutual support, trust, and shared survival goals rather than on wealth or social status. In this new social order, individuals are valued for their skills, resourcefulness, and contributions to the group's well-being. Additionally, the absence of a formal economy means that people are not confined by the limitations imposed by monetary value. Skills and goods become valuable commodities commodities for trade and barter, fostering a system based on exchanging goods and services. This barter system allows for a more direct and personal form of trade, where individuals exchange items or services based on immediate needs and without the constraints imposed by fluctuating markets or financial disparities. One aspect often discussed is the idea of true freedom that might arise in such a scenario. In a world overrun by zombies, societal norms and constraints would crumble, leading to a liberation from the rules, expectations, and structures of modern civilization. Firstly, the breakdown of government and societal institutions would eliminate the boundaries and regulations that currently govern our lives. There would be no laws dictating behavior, no hierarchies enforcing social norms, and no institutions imposing restrictions. This absence of formal authority could offer individuals the freedom to live without the constraints imposed by a structured society. People might find themselves making decisions based on immediate needs and personal values rather than societal expectations or regulations. Secondly, without the pressures of societal roles and expectations, individuals might discover a sense of liberation from the preconceived notions and judgments that often influence behavior in our current society. In a zombie apocalypse, survival becomes the primary concern concern, leading people to prioritize what truly matters, forming genuine connections, supporting one another, and focusing on basic needs. This freedom from societal expectations could allow individuals to redefine themselves and forge authentic relationships based on mutual survival and support rather than superficial societal constructs. Finally, the absence of consumerism and materialistic pursuits that define modern society might provide a sense of freedom from the constant desire for possessions and wealth. In a world where resources are scarce and survival is paramount, the emphasis would shift from accumulating material wealth to valuing essentials such as food, shelter, and safety. This newfound simplicity could lead to a sense of liberation from the consumer-driven culture that dominates contemporary life. However, it's essential to acknowledge that while this notion of freedom might seem appealing in theory, the harsh reality of a zombie apocalypse would involve immense danger, loss, and constant fear for survival. The absence of societal structures and regulations could also pave the way for chaos, lawlessness, and moral dilemmas. Therefore, any perceived freedom would come at an exorbitant cost, and the challenges of survival would overshadow any semblance of liberty in such a catastrophic scenario. Certainly, within the realm of zombie fiction, various types of zombies are often depicted, each with unique characteristics and abilities. In this scenario, let's focus on slow and less intelligent zombies, akin to the traditional portrayal seen in classics like George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Slow or stupid zombies, while terrifying due to their relentless pursuit and numbers, might not be as immediately catastrophic compared to other types of zombies with heightened abilities. Fast zombies. These zombies possess speed and agility, making them incredibly difficult to outrun or evade. Their swiftness could lead to a quicker spread of the infection and make survival far more challenging. Slow zombies are easier to avoid due to their sluggishness. Intelligent zombies. Zombies that retain some level of intelligence or problem-solving skills pose a far greater threat. They might organize, strategize, and outsmart survivors, making it harder to anticipate their movements or tactics. Slow, stupid zombies are easier to predict and handle. Fungal zombies. In some fictional universes, zombies are created due to fungal infections, like in The Last of Us. These zombies have unique abilities and can spread their infection through spores, making them a more insidious threat compared to traditional slow zombies. Biologically enhanced zombies. Some variations of zombies are genetically or biologically modified, making them more resilient, resistant to attacks, or capable of spreading the infection through means other than biting. Slow, stupid zombies are less likely to possess these enhancements. Slow and less intelligent zombies, while still posing a threat, allow for more manageable strategies for survival. Their lack of speed and cognitive abilities makes them easier to defend against. Barricading structures or creating safe zones becomes more feasible when dealing with slow-moving zombies. The slower pace and lack of intelligence might mean a slower transmission rate of the zombie virus. 
virus. It gives survivors more time to strategize, find resources, and potentially develop a cure or vaccine. Slow or stupid zombies are easier to eliminate compared to faster or more intelligent variants. This makes it feasible for survivors to manage small groups of zombies and clear out areas for shelter and resources. However, even with stupid zombies, the fundamental challenges of a collapsed society, scarcity of resources, constant fear, and the psychological toll of dealing with the undead would still make a zombie apocalypse an incredibly dangerous and distressing scenario. I would like to know what your opinion is about this new perspective that only the apocalypses can bring us. Do you think we would be freer, or that we would all end up dying? I will read you in the comments.